वेलकम टू लेक्चर 16 वी आर स्टडीइंग बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी विल सॉल्व थेवेलेंस थ्योरम वी विल स्टडी सेवन थेवेलेंस थ्योरम इट वर्क्स फॉर सिचुएशंस वेयर वी हैव वेरिंग लोड्स द रिमेनिंग सर्किट इज द सेम एंड वी हैव डिफरेंट वी हैव टू ट्राई डिफरेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ लोड देयरफॉर इन एडिशन टू द लोड वी ड्रॉ एन इक्विवेलेंट सर्किट एंड वी कॉल इट थेवेलेंस इक्विवेलेंट there are four different steps to solve a circuit for an unknown value using thevenin theorem we first of all have to remove load since we are working with dc circuits right now so rl would be the load we compute the open circuit across the open ends and we call it v thevenin and then we compute r equivalent across open ends and we call it r thevenin and then will make a series circuit with v thevenin source and r thevenin series and then we we'll put our load back which we remove in step number 1 and then we we'll solve for the required quantity that can be the voltage across load or the current through load here is an example where we have two sources and a pair of resistors and this is our load resistor 4 kilo ohm across which we have to find the voltage so we we'll apply this four steps on the circuit to find the unknown quantity b l first of all we'll step number 1 we will remove the step number 1 we'll remove load resistor so let's remove it now we have instead of rl we have two open ends so across this open ends we have to find the open circuit Which is, which we also call as V thevenin. So uh, this can be computed using many techniques that we have already studied. So let's solve it using using neural analysis. Assume a ground here and a node here, and its voltage is V. So we have to write the CL equation for the three branches connected to it. For the leftmost branch. The current is step number two. This step number one. For so step number two, we have to compute V O C. For that, we we'll compute this voltage first. V minus six divided by six k is the outgoing current. In this branch, the current moving away. In this branch, the current moving away. In this branch, would be V minus minus twelve over three k. Why is this minus? Because the current is entering from the negative end. Its voltage rises and is taken as negative. Plus the current in this third branch. Since it's open circuit, at the output there is no current. So it is zero. So now we have only one equation and one value. We solve for it, and V comes. Out to be minus six four. So simply in the equation you can solve it, and the answer is minus six. This V is the same as since there is no current in this branch, no voltage drop across this two kilo resistor. So the voltage to the left of it is equal to the voltage to the right of it. So the same as V O C or V T. So in step number three, we have to compute R and Q values. Across open ends, but before we compute R equivalent across open ends, we know we have already studied that in superposition theorem that we have to replace loads, uh, and we know that for voltage source the equivalent resistance is zero ohm, so it is replaced with a short circuit, and a current source is replaced with an open circuit. So we have to uh, voltage sources here, and they both will be replaced by short circuits. So. Short circuit here, short circuit here. And across the output ends, we'll compute a resistance. We call it R thevenin. So now we have this six k and three k in parallel, and this two k is in series with this parallel combination. So R thevenin is the six k. 
in parallel with 3k so 6k times 3k over 6k plus 3k finally plus 2k so r thevenin is computed to be four kilos so we have computed v thevenin minus six volts and r thevenin four kilo so now we are ready to execute step number four which is that will that will take a second if we have as the only source and our thyroid connected in series with it so let's go to step number four our voltage source since this is minus six volts minus six means that the polarity will be reversed I get reverse the up, all stables on, on, uh, on the downside. The lower side will be plus, the upper side will be a minus. So, this R7 is 4 kilo. And then finally, you have to put the load that we, just, that we removed from the original circuit. And that was a resistor value with value 4 kilo ohms and we are asked to find out the voltage drop across it so now we have a series circuit with two resistors 4 kilo ohm each and a 6 volt voltage source and since this polarity is the reverse compared to this polarity therefore we will apply a voltage divided theorem 4k divided by 4k plus 4k times 6 and you know minus sign here because the polarity the current caused by by this circuit but so the current caused by this voltage source causes a polarity that is opposite to the polarity desired therefore we put a negative here so it comes out to be minus 3 volts so in this lecture we have tried different steps to apply Thevenin's theorem to a linear circuit and we have solved a simple example. In the coming lectures, we will solve a couple of more examples related to Thevenin's theorem. Thank you.